Really? Uh, so today I'd like to talk about mechanized reasoning in mathematics. Um, so why exactly it is? So what I'm doing is that give me, oh, you, you have some very nice proof on paper, and I will turn on my laptop. Well, it's actually just a monitor, but anyway. Um, and I put it into my computer, and the computer will say, oh, yeah, it's correct. And hooray, uh, we uh, then we have a peace of mind, <laughs> uh, which means that no one will publish a paper 50 years later saying that your theorem is wrong. These things really happen, but anyway. So um, my dream is that everyone can do this easily on their computers. Um, but the reality is that right now it's not the case. Um, so I wonder why, and so I look at a book. Oh, actually, not yet, sorry. Um, there are some, some projects, that notable projects, showing that this is actually possible, that my dream is just not some daydream. Um, there are several big theorems that have been mechanized in computers, saying that the full color theorem and all other theorems, if you know what it is, and a couple of conjecture and now and a theorem. I want to talk a little bit about the four color theorem um, because I know that many people still think that it's approved. Uh, it's proved by running some computer programs, checking lots of cases. And we may or may not know the, progr uh, the program is correct and so on. It's no longer the case since 2005. Uh, right now, we have a complete mechanized proof. So the only thing you have to check is the definition of the planar graph and the definition of four color variable. And everything else is completely checked by computers. So it actually becomes, in my opinion, more believable than many papers out there. <laughs> it's the, it's the fun, the irony of the, anyway. so. As I said, I wonder why, like, even though that sort of thing has been done, it's not popular yet. So I look at a book written by a professor in the University of Edinburgh, and this is one sentence of it. She so says uh, the difficulty and the length of what we're doing is probably the cause that uh, why this is not um, widely accepted. Um, okay, but I don't want to give up. <laughs> So I want to address these issues to make this happen. So in my opinion, I, in order to make this work, there are several parts that we need to work on, or at least I have to work on. Um, so first of all, we need a good theory. By that, I mean a good language or good abstraction to talk about the mathematical concept we use every day. And then some engineering with a good editor and an efficient checker to make this practical, and also a community to support it. Um, but for today's work, because I only have 15 minutes, I'll focus on the theory part. And actually, everyone sitting here can help <laughs> doing this. I'll, I'll explain why exactly I mean by that. Um, so I suppose everyone wants at least natural numbers in their theory. <laughs> Um, for the official story of natural numbers, and the one encoding of it is that it's, everything had to be done in set theory, and then zero is the empty set, and one is the set with only an empty set, and, okay, I don't want to say this, it's already painful to type it in. Uh, <laughs> and another example will be the tuple. So how do I encode this? So this is one encoding of it. There are actually several encodings of it, but one encoding will have a two if you can recognize it. <laughs> and then with a set with a zero and two. Uh, so, but let's be honest, no one wants to work on this level. Of, uh, so what, you, what we usually want, oh, there's a delay in the uh, pointer, uh, is a structural test theory where you are not working on this material sets, but you are working on abstract notion of numbers, abstract notion of products, and so on. And type theory also has these properties, and there are also something else. 
Um, but so in order to draw more analogy, so think about the Euclid elements. So he started with points and lines, not some equation and a set of points along that. No, the, the points and lines are abstract notions, and he, we work with that. So this has the same flavor. Um, all right. So, so, so this is a, how I see what's done there. So we have an everyday classical mathematics, and then the official story is everything can be done in uh, set theory if you spend enough time. But in order to make the mechanization practical, um, you actually need a good language that is roughly at the same level of the everyday mathematics we are doing right now. And, the main, and then you can justify it, maybe some very complicated proof that it's sound. But after proving that, you can forget about it and then just work on this level. Um, so this is actually good, even if you don't care about mechanization. Um, so because this will help you to really understand the real results, uh, what, ex what exactly you are depending on. You, maybe you don't need the full power of set. For example, maybe you only need a piano action without encoding everything down to set theory. Um, it's just a so it's a good thing to talk, think about even if you don't care about the peace of mind of the mechanization. So um, in the interest of time, I would like to show you one concrete example of this and what we did. Um, so the example will be homotopy type theory. Uh, so my thesis, I did my thesis in this. So the thing we are trying to do is a classical homotopy theory. And then uh, well, there are actually several stories. But one possible thing is that by the Quinlan, um, you can through the Quinlan model categories, you can come up with a very nice model category on top of the simplicial sets or other things, depending on uh, your favorite model <laughs> category theory. Sorry, model category. Um, and, and the thing we pick as a language is a homotopy type theory. And there's an extra condition, <coughs> it's an extra restriction of the language that even the proofs, the proof meth methodology, everything needs to be homotopy invariant. So this is a setup. And um, why is it not working? Oh, oh sorry. OK. So <coughs> The, 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 and we have five minutes. Um, so do we really address the issues? So remember that the difficulty, according to the book, is that it seems very difficult, and the, the formal proof seems very long. Uh, I don't have a very direct evidence. But what we saw is that many results were mechanized. Like We managed to do that even more. Uh, we, uh, some of them are actually done right in the computer first. And then we realized that, no, we have to engage a wider audience. So we actually, uh, in the book, we unmechanize a proof. So it's actually from the code. And we try to write it in a, 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 a more human readable version uh, in the book. So in my opinion, it's actually, uh, it means that it's actually not that difficult. And the other thing is that for from the examples we have and we compare the length, it's not really longer. So I, I claim that we, at least we partially address this issue. Um, and, I, and now um, I want to show you a very interesting story about the interaction between the mechanized proofs and the paper proofs. Uh, so you start with actually right at IS here. A spatial year during the 2012 and 13. So there are three people that like, come up with a, managed to prove the a theorem called Brecker's Messy theorem in the homotopy type theory. And then later on, I came to IS as a visitor and asking everyone, like, is there something that I can mechanize? And, they, and I found this and we cooperate and then. And then uh, we did a complete mechanized proof in ECTA. 
And for a long time, that's the story. And they announced the results, but we never found the time to publish a paper. And mathematicians, other, other people are wondering uh, what's going on, uh, where is the complete proof? The only complete proof, if you look at the diagram, is this one. So uh, I, will, I will show you uh, the, some communication later, but because of this, Rask, a, a, a very famous algebraic topologist, took the effort to like, kind of force to read my code. And it turns out, I'll, actually, his reaction is positive. <laughs> anyway, so he, he um, mechanized the code into this. And then based on this and the mechanization, they would say generalization of the result. And in the meanwhile, we finally found the time to publish our paper. <laughs> uh, so we came together to, to publish it. And now, um, so you can see the flow is from this to that, and this to this, and then uh, from this, and then we flow to that. And now it's flowing back again, because um, Eric and I are trying to make a nicer result again. Um, you can see that, it, that this is a very interesting interaction. People usually thought that mechanization is just that I take your results and mechanize it in computers. But we have some interesting story that I extract back and forth. I have other examples where after, after I did the mechanization, I told the other mathematician that in the code I didn't use this lemma, or I, in the code I didn't use this assumption at all. And that we, can, we then strengthen the theorem because I, now I have a complete proof. I have the confidence that I don't need this axiom at all. Um, anyway, so but I think this one is the most interesting story. Uh, let me show you the reaction of Rex when he finally read the code. So he said, there are lots of comments. So finally he said, uh, so I believe I understand blah, 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 and, and it's the most excellent proof. <laughs> <laughs> I think in the beginning, he. I feel he is a little bit reluctant, but this is, turned out to be very positive. So, some, uh, so for those of you who are worried about whether the mechanized proof is readable, it is, at least according to this. So, um, all right. So what I'm going to do for this year, um, is I'll, I'll try to mechanize more results, and I'll try to design the new language depending on the need. And I'll also try to develop new tools. Also, one of the things I'm working on right now uh, is something called RedPro. I don't have time to introduce that. Um, and what you can do is, well, so you should teach me the math you want me to make a nice. So please give me uh, something to, to work on. And uh, if you have time, there are lots of very uh, mature mechanizing tools, and you can just try one. It's actually quite fun. It's like playing the games, the video games. The only difference is that you won't, it's very difficult to publish a paper out of video game, but playing this game can lead you a paper, the, the publication. And finally, uh, I want to use my time to do this. So, Send me an email by today. If you want to play a game with Hinabe, this is fun. <laughs> <laughs> what? Can I give us papers too? <laughs> they are papers about the uh, Hinabe, the optimal strategy. I think it, for humans are still open. So yes, yes. You can also <laughs> write a paper about this. <laughs> uh, OK, so this is the end of my talk. Uh, thanks for your attention.